Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Electronic throttle body units are pretty much found uh, today on pretty much every single uh, model. Um, distributed in almost anywhere in the world there's no more throttle cable so uh, the electro throttle unit and we're going to briefly uh, see the electro throttle unit here and we're going to discuss the uh, the actual waveform that controls the uh, the electronic throttle unit which is a PWM um, uh, signal uh, which is above the hearing range of, of human beings so in this particular case we're we're going uh, we're doing 20,000 or 20k 20 uh, 20,000 Hertz uh, that's uh, the frequency for the electro throttle unit uh, seen here. Briefly, the electro throttle unit pretty much allows you to uh, open and close the uh, electronic throttle. Uh, the unit uh, has been on the market uh, for uh, we developed, designed and developed the unit about two years ago. Uh, it's uh, good for almost uh, any electronic throttle that we are aware of. Um, uh, pretty much all electronic throttle units uh, right now in. Uh, uh, I could be wrong, but um, uh, there are, uh, there's a DC motor uh, and it's uh, PWM controlled. There's a spring inside that actually retracts the throttle itself. The unit uh, provides both uh, open and close, so uh, it's not just a spring uh, that closes the throttle. Uh, so anyway, so the um, as we can see here later on, uh, we're going to explain uh, how the unit is controlled, uh, which is a fairly, uh, it's a very simple unit. With the electro throttle, you can open and close the unit, and uh, using uh, uh, an external voltage supply, like the blue voltage that we also uh, developed, uh, we can actually inject uh, five volts uh, um, for the uh, for the sensors for the for the dual or triple. Uh, throttle position sensors, and you can test and ground, and you can test uh, these guys uh, using the electro throttle. Now, if you look carefully, connecting the unit is pretty straightforward. Uh, it's a two-lead uh, unit. Uh, the the unit itself. Uh, so you just connect two wires. The unit itself has a uh, polarity inversion uh, within the throttle. So well, within the unit, so you can actually flip polarity by just flipping a switch. You don't have to um, flip the polarity manually. You know by inverting the wires. So uh, the unit is already set for that. It's got uh, another a second switch, which is a um, 400 Hertz, I believe, uh, which is used for not only for electronic throttles, is also used for uh, uh, for some of some of the solenoids. Now, the way it works is that the if you're a rebuilder uh, and you want to rebuild the throttles, you pretty much connect the unit uh, and just set it to open and close, and it, it'll continue opening and closing the the throttle uh, for whatever for an hour, and uh, so you can go back and verify whether it's going to the unit is going to take the heat. So if the rebuild was done properly. Uh, so, as you can see on screen, it is a square wave output, uh, PWM um, um, actuated, uh, basically, so by switching the, and it, it is operating at 20,000 Hertz, which is uh, above the hearing range. Uh, this, is, this is to uh, go above the harmonic uh, frequency of, elect, uh, of, electro of the little motor inside the electronic throttle. So, it's pretty much straightforward. The unit is uh, it's a tough unit. It's... Uh, uh, it is um, one of our more successful uh, equipment products that we have. Um, it, again, uh, it takes us. Um, uh, well, I think we're we're in the in development almost two years with this unit. Year year and eight months, if I remember correctly. You know when we introduced the unit. So it's been around for uh, um, about two years already. Uh, it is one of very few units um, that you can use uh, on the market to actuate throttles. Uh, you pretty much disconnect the electronic throttle, you identify the two pins that go into the uh, electronic throttle unit and connect the unit and actuate the throttle. You can clean the throttle, you can do whatever you want with it. And it's not going to affect uh, the actual, um, the ECM. Uh, so the ECM is not going to detect any issues with you moving the throttle because you're not, the ECM has nothing to do with it. You're just doing everything, uh, you're commanding that electronic throttle to move uh, independently. So seen here uh, again uh, is the square wave that uh, um, used to uh, command the electronic throttle um, open and close.
This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on-hands video, and how-to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.